Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on Iraq's monetary reforms and the Iraqi dinar. In today's video, we'll dive into a significant development that is sparking conversations in the financial sector of Iraq. Let's talk about the new cash deposit centers being opened by Prime Minister Sudani in coordination with the Central Bank of Iraq, which, according to reports, could mark the beginning of a major shift in the country's currency management system. A key figure in the Iraqi financial world, Mr. Sami, has shared an important update with Iraq's citizens. He explained that these newly established cash deposit centers are not just another service addition, but a strategic move in Iraq's long-anticipated monetary reform. He highlighted that the launch of these centers could signal the start of a process to gradually delete the three zeros from the Iraqi dinar. This long-discussed process refers to removing the large denominations of dinar notes from circulation, a move that could pave the way for a more robust and efficient currency system. But why are these deposit centers such a crucial part of the reform process? Mr. Sammy points out that they provide a new avenue for citizens to exchange their larger banknotes. Without these specialized centers, the regular banking infrastructure might face significant bottlenecks. By creating designated locations for currency exchange, it avoids overwhelming the existing banking system, ensuring a smooth and streamlined process for people to trade in their large denomination notes for smaller ones or potentially new currency. This development is not just an isolated step, but part of a broader strategy being rolled out by Iraq's government and financial authorities. These currency centers have been carefully licensed by key authorities, including the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, Prime Minister Sudani, and even the U.S. Treasury. This international cooperation further underscores the importance of these reforms. It's not just an internal policy change, but something that aligns with global financial standards and practices. The approval of these centers by international bodies like the U.S. Treasury points to a higher level of credibility and oversight, which is crucial for Iraq as it looks to reintegrate more fully into the global financial system. It's a signal that things are moving fast, not just for the country's economic reforms, but also for its citizens, who are eagerly awaiting the tangible benefits of these changes. The opening of these centers can also be seen as a way to facilitate the much-discussed deletion of the zeros, which has been a critical part of Iraq's monetary reform plans for years. By giving citizens a structured and easy way to trade in their notes, the government is likely aiming to reduce the reliance on high-denomination notes, which have been a hallmark of Iraq's currency for some time. Thanks for watching.